that we're going to be installing a Gorilla Airsoft MOSFET along with the trigger board into my MTW. Uh, I've also got the Silent Industries mag catch uh, uh, bolt release, sorry, to uh, yeah, check the machining on that bad boy. So first thing I'm going to tackle, or try and tackle, I've never done anything like this before, is take the old kit out. So, looking inside, we have, oh, when that decides to focus, the board's held in with two pins with springs pushing against. One of them is at the very front looks to just pop out that safe and the second one has let me just move that the second one has the trigger at a pivot running through it so i might see if i can actually leave that one in i'm going to start with this back one and then see if i can just persuade the front one to come out without being too much of a pain Spring inside. Does it go through that way? Nope. I think the spring just has to work its way over the end of. I need like six hands. Oh, come on. You absolute nightmare. <laughs> The reason that that's not coming out is the trigger spring underneath has decided to Hmm. 
that's fun. It's actually wrapped itself up in there. <laughs> or is it the same thing? Where is it? Right, plan B. Back pin. wrapped up in it I do is just move that spring away. There we go. And see inside it's just giving it enough slack to move away. comes out front pin there we are all right is our board all right If in doubt with these, take a picture before you start. Oh, yep. So, looks to sit like that. And that bit there was the bit that got mixed up in that spring. All right. I'll have to make some storage on the card because I am all out uh, when I'm done. I'll come back and we'll try and uh, install that one. There we are. Excellent. One bit to mention is that this piece here needs to be transferred over, like the spring retainer. Make a note that that was in the top fitting like so all right and I already took these springs out because I had a few issues with them um, one of them starting to dislodge the other day See, it's made a bit of a mess at the end. See if I can straighten that quickly before I put it in. sit in here like so there we are 
and these are the two screws here are for. Where is it hiding? Yeah. They replace um, those. Because that's where the two touch. Which is a bit of a... I can't say I'm fond of that design at all. It's just, you know, you've got a, a coated screw versus a, a, a plated spring. Yeah, anyway. Let's see if we can get this bullet in quickly. Ah, yeah. Sits on that side, sits there. And there's a connector to go on there. Maybe, maybe I should put that on first. Then. You can see there's a only one way to fit this. Okay, right. So that is your mode switch. You select it, and the other is the trigger. Right. is put it back in the way I took it out. The back spring. Oh, hang on, that way is it? Okay, yep, board on the back. Fiddly. But it lines up quite nice. Come on. There's no real fun way of doing this. Okay, that's in. And then what we'll probably do... We'll push this.
Being a pain, it's, there's a little detent groove in the middle of that, and it wraps itself up. One thing, it's definitely not going to come out. <laughs> there we are. Boom. So I don't think you can see it, but there is a little tiny. groove in there which the trigger spring sits in and on Seems to about be okay there. Yeah, safety on. A bit more travel. A bit more travel. Happy days. Well, nearly done with that. Um, because I've got the aero stock on the back. What I think I'm going to do with this is take the wiring down and into the Magpul grip. And that is where the board will live. Because I don't think that this is going to fit anywhere else. I mean, it would be nice to try and tuck it in there, but no, it's not going to happen. However, plenty of room in there for that and the battery. So, yeah. Yeah, looks to be okay. Right then. Uh, so what I've ended up doing in the routing is I've taken it out and forward, looped it, round the back. Everything's still functional inside. Taking it into the back, looped it round and then down. It's quite a long, I'd like to see a shorter one for doing something like this, because that is an absolute pain in the ass to work with. So if you're watching that, Gorilla, let's have a shorter cable for in here. You know, that's that's the only concern is when I use that rear detent pin, it's going to catch. So I'm going to have to maybe take that out, zip tie it, try and do something with it to uh, lower the profile. So these two screws here are for this. block so I'll just do one at a time uh, they don't feel nice at all plus I don't have the best hands for this. I could never be a surgeon, do you know what I mean? Yeah, they're in, but they just don't feel 
There we go. There we are. Connected them. 